Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to send messages from Node.js application to RabbitMQ using WebStorm client library. RabbitMQ supports Stomped uh, messaging protocol and it has Stomp over WebSockets plugin that uh, expose this protocol over WebSocket. So first thing we have to install RabbitMQ WebStomp plugin using this command. RabbitMQ plugins enable RabbitMQ WebStomp. So uh, I'm already done this. So and then in overview you can see listening ports. So here port one one five six seven four. That for this webstone protocol here. So now let's just create a. simple Node.js application with Express. So let's call it WebStomp. I'm using Visual Studio Code. So I'm opening this new So we'll do np init to create npm init to create uh, JSON file. We'll do scene. We'll do app.js entry point. Everything else I'm just by default getting so the go here let's create a bgs file okay and now go back to terminal we need to install a couple things npm install let's first install express We'll be doing this with Express and PMO spelled one and npm install. We need to install WebStorm client. Let's dump client. And we need to install WS WebSocket. And I think that's it. So we have Express Storm. Let's just in case um, this I don't need it but just in case it's everything is installed so now so we need get express Get web stomp just copy this and 
and we need we'll be creating client webstomp client over WebSocket. So we need WebSocket. So now we can create clients. It will be WebStomp or Creating the instance of WebSocket and passing URL. So, in once you install plugin for RabbitMQ WebStomp, choose the endpoint WebSocket endpoint HTTP. It's IP basically for local cost and port 15674. So let's get this. Just a little bit. I prefer to say local host. So Here we'll do our application. And port. Run on the port. And let's do. Listen on no port and open the console. Call back specify will be login to console. Listen on port and port. So let's go back to our stomp client. So let's define function. So it, it, this function, what uh, once you will be connecting to client on the air, you get user on air, and then it's console lock. Say disconnect. Connect it and we'll get our user user uh, method name and error and we create function for on connect what we'll be doing. And we say here connect it and what user and then we will define just simple message that you want to publish to Rabbit. Let's say just hello Rabbit. So we're doing 
on the client client or webstomp client we call send on it and send it except destination stream destination is our exchange so have um, have queue web service endpoint and exchange for the same queue web service endpoint and then bind into this queue so I will be sending message to this exchange so exchange web service Point. and next parameter is message you want text and then you can optionally also specify headers let's just say let's do content type And it will be text plain. So let's see. And now we need to connect our client. So it, it happens by calling connect on the client, it accepts um, So what we need to pass here Headers, connection headers, so and callback So Actually, you can pass a thing just username and password have default guess guess for my rabbit. Yeah, the different they have to rights for this method so headers i'm using i will be using this one connect login password passcode and callback so we'll connect callback first one and then arrow come back so have and connect first Oops. Next. Okay. Let's see. Let's try to run it. Let's go back to queues. No messages. So. Okay. No errors. It's good. Let's see what we get here. Mm, connect guest guest connected case okay, sent message command sent body okay I go back yeah it's here look at it get message yeah got our message so this is simple example on how to start with it and thanks for watching um, like my video if you like it <coughs> and see you in my next one